So this week on the channel, I'm going to head down to the marina <clears throat> and I'll show you guys the shrink wrap and the final preparations I do for the season. Uh, something else I'm going to be covering uh, through the winter, like I mentioned, I'll post about once a month, are projects that I want to do on the boat. And there are really only two that I want to tackle. Uh, the first and foremost is the holding tank. Uh, I love Pearson sailboats. I've owned two now. And there's only one thing that really drives me crazy about them, and that is the uh, holding tank for the toilet. They put a, a collapsible tank in on the Pearson boats, and it, I'm just not a fan. Uh, they leak, they smell. So the first thing I did with both of my boats when I bought them was cut that right out. So this winter I will be installing um, a hard tank and I'll walk you through that process. The other thing that I want to get done is the tow rail. Um, the way that's been, it's a teak tow rail and the way they, the previous owner, kept that up was to use West Systems epoxy on it and follow that up with Captain's Varnish. So it's showing a little bit of wear and tear. Um, what I believe I'll do is wait until spring for that project. Uh, I was on the boat last weekend and I noticed there's some webbing that's kind of in my way. So we'll get the cover off it in the spring and tackle that project. So let's get down to the boat and I'll show you what we're going to do. You can see there's a few more boats in here since last time I shot a video. Let's get back to my boat. So the way I have to get into my boat is through this little plastic door. I'll tell you what, you guys that uh, winter in the Bahamas, that's a better way to do it than shrink wrapping. So there you have it. Latitude adjustments all wrapped up. And the way I have to get in, I take a ladder. I don't know if you can see it with the light or not, but I get to crawl through that little hole. But it's better than having snow all over your boat. This is what it looks like coming in and out of my boat all winter long. There's got to be a better way. So this is what it looks like inside. <clears throat> Ship shape marine, like I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, 
Uh, Toledo Beach Marina is a full service marina and Ship Shape Marine did the shrink wrap job on my boat. Um, I might consider having a cover made. It was about $600 to have this done for my 28 foot uh, Pearson. I had a cover made for $2,000 and I'll tell you what it's a lot nicer. One of the things I found when you're dealing with shrink wrap like this is you build up a tremendous amount of condensation in the boat on the decks and you know I shrink wrap it to keep the sun and the snow off the boat but the bigger issue I have is all this condensation that builds up so it's do you want snow on your deck and sun or do you want to deal with the condensation so they have vented the boat with a couple vents that's typically what they do I'm actually gonna buy some more of my own and I'm gonna vent this thing ridiculously actually and then what I do is use a few products to help keep the boat dry. So the product I use is called Damp Red. You notice I have a couple really big buckets and then four small. I'll put the two big buckets out here um, on the deck and hope that soaks up some of the moisture. I found myself coming down to my boat, uh, my last boat that is, about once a week just to mop the deck uh, of condensation the moisture from the condensation that builds up so I'm really hoping these big boys out here on the deck will help with that um, that and more vents and fingers crossed and then I take the four small ones and I'll displace those throughout the cabin a couple in the main salon area one in the v-berth and one in the aft cabin Another thing that I like to do, I'll go down inside the boat and show you, but I have everything opened up so you can get as much ventilation as possible. So you can see as you come down the companionway, I have all the floorboards out and I do that all the way through. There's not a tremendous amount of light in here yet. Um, I always plug electricity in, but today's kind of a short day. Um, but I also open up all the cabinets. So that's really all I can do. That and the dry red uh, buckets. And hope for the... Oh, I take that back. There's one other thing I like to do. And that is... About once a month I come down and I run a heater in the boat. And just dry the whole thing up. So... Those are the precautions that I take. I have these little buckets. I actually leave one right here in the cockpit and we're going to go up to the v-berth it's pretty dark and i'll place one up there and then right back here in the aft cabin which is very dark so you're not going to be able to see in there so as i come out of the aft cabin take this little guy here It's always fun walking in the boat with all the floorboards out, holding a camera. It's a straight up balancing act, that's what it is. You see I have all the cushions propped up. It's not real easy to see that, but just trying to keep everything as dry as possible and have as much circulation as the boat as I possibly can. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, the next one will be of me doing the hard tank for the, the toilet. So if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. And I'd also uh, like a comment. So if you have any comments, uh, any advice on shrink wrapping a boat and keeping it dry inside, um, these are the techniques that I use. But boy, I am uh, wide open because when I come down here in the winter, it's a three-hour trip, three-hour round trip. And uh, I'm basically coming down to do about an hour's worth of work each time. 
So if you guys can save me some travel time, I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, any advice would be uh, welcomed. Thanks a lot. See you on the next episode.